what is up everybody I'm back and I am better um, but no seriously I'm back vlogging I want to get back to it and uh, uh, no but for real I'm back and I'm better and uh, a lot has changed since the last video I uploaded if any of you guys used to watch them um, I advise you not to go watch them now <laughs> um, but I am now married to my beautiful wife, Karina Holly. Um, what a dream come true, honestly. And uh, I always wish I had someone to vlog with, you know, back in the day. And um, now she has been the one to actually convince me to start doing this again. I mean, we, I think we want to do it together. We do. We, we absolutely want to. And we've been talking about it forever, actually, ever since we started dating and just never got around to it and so she honestly kind of put her foot down was like you need to go do this like we have too much time on our hands i don't know why you don't this and that and um yeah so here we are uh i'm on my way to my new dealership location again if you used to watch these videos well, let me pass this guy If you used to watch these videos, I used to have a dealership in Middletown, Kentucky. And it was sweet, man. It was my dream that I always wanted, you know, a little dealership, cool office, pool table, all that. Um, you know, it was the start of something. And um, then COVID came around, basically, long story short, got the lease, like the building sold out from underneath me. We are in a lease, blah, blah, blah. So I am now, after probably a year and a half or two years later, just went privately through all that uh, COVID stuff, you know, sold cars, you know, on the side. Well, I mean, that was what I did, but um, just kind of privately. And, uh, you know, you could only do so much during COVID. So there was no way I was gonna get anywhere else. You know, it was, pos it was impossible basically to find a place. But I have now moved out to Taylorsville, and you know what? It is everything I need for now, and you know, there, there are requirements to what you need to start a dealership. A lot of people think you can kind of just go online and uh, just sign up for a license and you're good to go. There are several, um, several things you need to do, and it is a hassle. It's not that bad, it's not impossible, but uh, yeah, I kind of want to hop on here and show you guys a part of my life, show you, you know, years ago I was telling you, hey, you don't have to work a 9 to 5, you don't have to give up on your dreams, you don't have to do the norm, and, you know, if you did watch the videos, you probably would think, well, I guess he gave in and got a 9 to 5 and this and that, and, uh, that is not true. I kept doing exactly what I was doing, and, uh... I'm just here to say it's still possible and I'm here to film it now get back into it and uh, also my wife and I we want to do videos that are fun and um, short lifestyle workout videos all kinds of stuff like that um, so I'm on my way to the dealership now and uh, basically show you guys around and there's not much to show but it's all you need show you guys what I'm doing. I, I gotta go here and sign a couple of titles over to somebody. I bought three vehicles from me, which is awesome. And, um, yeah, so we'll see you here in a minute. So, yeah, here she is. Like I said, guys, all you really need is an office, a lot with two th at least 2,000 square feet, um, you know, dealer insurance, uh, printer, business phone, and a couple other requirements, um, you know, as far as banking goes and money, gotta have a certain amount. Um, <clears throat> I am now a Carfax certified dealer which is pretty sweet. I have a Carfax account, so every single car I sell comes, you know, with the free Carfax and whatnot, and you 
make sure you're uh, getting a good deal and um, yeah I always try to be fair in what I sell you know I show pretty much Carfax I usually try to sell under the Carfax value um, but yeah right now I, I have one two three four five six cars on the lot and then as you saw this morning I had one two three or four cars at the house um, so I normally try to keep you know 10 vehicles 8 to 10 um, and that is enough that I can keep up with myself you know what I mean I, you know if I had 20 or 25 I would have to have someone working with for me and I've got some buddies that I you know sell vehicles to I'm actually about to go deliver this title over to him now and then they sell them so I hook them up you know a small price and then they make, you know, a couple thousand, three thousand, four, like whatever. And, uh, you know, we keep that rotating. So I make quick profits off them. And we're about to go over there now. He's got like a little small lot, basically, at his apartment right now. It's pretty funny. Um, he's pretty excited, which is awesome. You know, he's moving like those two together now. Like they're moving like four or five cars, like sometimes a week, which is awesome. And I uh, love that. Quick profits for me, bigger profits for them. So, you know, we both uh, benefit off that. So we're gonna go over there now. And um, yeah, this is a box that my wife got for me, a Lamborghini uh, bottle of champagne. And I told her I'm not gonna pop it until I get a Lamborghini. So I think that'll be sweet. Make a little toast to that. Um, I've sold a couple supercars, um, but I have it's I've never like owned a Lambo myself. So when I do that, bada bing bada boom, we're gonna pop that thing right all over it. So all right, guys, gonna head over there now. Sitting at the lot, you saw him. S550, uh, four Matic, Jeep Wrangler, and then I have try to keep some you know economical vehicles every once in a while. Volkswagen CC and uh, Jeep Grand, uh, Grand Cherokee as well for the winter. It is November now, and um, it is always a good idea to have something fitting for the season. So, peace. All right, we're in the M440. Let's get it. Woo! <clears throat> Man, this is one of my favorite cars. Um, I've had a couple, you know, some of them tuned up more than others. This one is stock, but man, it is so fun. Uh, 2018 M440i with... 50, 57, 54,000 miles. Um, so yeah, pretty sweet. And I did forget I have to go over to my parents right now, actually, which the dealership for me is like 45 minutes away. Um, but my dad, actually, he just made a pickleball court. I am huge into pickleball. We love some pickleball. Um, and I forgot my paddle over there, so we're gonna be playing later today. So got to make sure I go get that. And uh, I don't know, maybe we'll get some video, some B-roll of a little bit of pickleball. It's been blowing up lately. If anyone plays, let's get it. Let's go. Um, yeah, been obsessed with it lately. Been playing like an hour or two a day for the most part, unless it's auction day. Uh, that's when I go buy all my cars. So yeah, let's go get this paddle. So check it out guys, that is freaking sweet. Um, just so sick, man. Uh, 
my dad's actually became obsessed with it as well. <laughs> and uh, let's see, he's towards like meniscus, I think, and rup <laughs> rupture his bicep. Um, but he continues to play, so shout out to him, man. And this thing is uh, just sweet, but um, I think next year we're gonna get some lights up, but it's you know coming into winter, so don't want to waste the money and I see he's got his window open and it has been raining I don't think it got inside though so let's go get this paddle aha uh -huh. here we go boys Selkirk project 006 I think it's the best paddle in the market but who knows um my mom is actually making a gym in here. The deal was if my dad could build a pickleball court, then uh, my mom gets to put a gym in here. So this looks sick. It's a full, full setup, like gold gym. It's got the pull down, the, like the curl. It's got a bench press. Um, so that's pretty sweet, but let's go see what's up with the old pops. got some titles and uh, now I am getting in this Maserati Gran Turismo um, this is one of 300 it's got the F1 Ferrari transmission and it's also got the uh, Ferrari engine so it's the 4.7 liter and I'm selling this today looks like I've got something caught on here but um, yeah, this thing's pretty sweet. I'll get some videos of it here in a second when I pull it out. So it's a uh, custom blue wrap. Um, looks really good. It's actually gloss black underneath. Super sick. One of the cleanest ones I've had actually. Um, sounds so good. And then we've got the blue scat pack. 6.4 liter, literally matching right now. Uh, just got this yesterday, so I'm cleaning it up today after I sell this Maserati. And, um, you know, we'll see how that all goes. But right now, uh, I'm supposed to be selling this Hummer tomorrow. This is a H3T with only 64,000 miles on it, man. They, uh, these are really hard to come by. And there's like a cult following for them. Um, so it's pretty sick. Looks beautiful. Just 64,000 miles, man. You can't beat it. Um, but just getting all these vehicles moved around right now because I'm gonna go clean that. It looks good, but I wanna have it really clean. So pulling this 440 into the garage and uh, we'll go from there. She was here when I met her and uh, you know, we just <laughs> literally cannot pass up the deal that they're giving us right now so until we find out where we really want to uh you know bunker down and uh stay at you know this will do just fine so we got this moved listen to this Ooh, so sexy 2019, 54,000 miles, um, for sale, for sale, for sale. Now, we will move over here, back to the Maserati, and uh, take a little drive in her. Yeah, so uh, with this F1 transmission, it doesn't actually have the normal, you know, 
stick. Uh, it's got forward, first gear, and reverse. And that's all you got. You can you hold you double tap these. You hold them in together, uh, and it'll basically put it in neutral. And then once you turn the car off, it just goes into park automatically. So. We're gonna go give her a wash. But uh, I usually drive it in Sport and MC Sport Auto, or Manual. Just a beauty. You know, uh, Maseratis sound just incredible, you know, when they got the Ferrari engine in it, that is for sure. Hopefully you guys can hear and gives us some type of justice. So with these F1 transmissions, you want to really be careful and use paddle shifters most of the time. Let off the gas when you're shifting. Just like you're driving a normal manual, honestly. Um, and that's going to, you know, let this clutch live much longer than normal. Um, you do have to spend about $15,000 at uh, 50,000 miles for the transmission, which is exactly what was done on this one. And now she's good to go for the rest of her life, as long as you treat her right. So, guys, we're gonna go clean this. There we go. So now um, we are going to go clean the Scatty. Just got it yesterday, like I said. So, got the Maserati gone. Uh, they came all the way from St. Louis four and a half hours and uh, they loved it so they're driving it home now and um, hopefully they enjoy it for I think they're gonna keep it for a long time so it's awesome to see and uh, basically they've been wanting that car for a very long time so super cool to you know make people happy like that and uh, let them enjoy what they got so on to the next task of today and uh that is cleaning this challenger getting it posted up good pictures good ad you know that's what makes the sale and uh gonna get that done and then i think we're gonna play some pickleball peace Right, guys so got some pickleball in forgot to record anything but you know whatever that's for next time um, just gonna close this vlog now there's not a whole lot more I think the wife and I are gonna go out in a little while um, have a good time relax it was my birthday last but uh, yeah it was my birthday last weekend so we already did our crazy weekend, uh, you know, got a party bus and whatnot, had a good time, and um, yeah, I'm just kind of starting this up again, I'm new to it, you know, once again, so, you know, on, on one side, I want everyone to know and see that you don't have to always do the norm, and, um, you know, you can get it your own way, you don't have to follow, you know, the basic path, I know a lot of people want to do something you know that they love and I think you should I think you should go for it you just got to put your mind to it honestly and do it um it's all I've been doing ever since I started uh literally find something you love attack it learn it and you keep pushing for it and uh you guys can do it um and I hope that this ends up bringing some type of positive um vibe to your life to your day and also, you know, maybe you could learn something and or, you know, I can learn something from doing this as well. So I hope that my wife and I start doing this more often and, um, you know, we just have a good time with it. That's, that's really what we're looking to do. So thank you guys for watching this video. If you liked it, please leave a thumbs up, leave a comment, share it, and uh, have a good one. I want to say hello to SJ. Our little kitty that she brought into my life. You're a father now. Yeah, I am. A whole dad. So how's it feel to be the prettiest woman in the world? It's tough. <laughs> it's tough. It's, it's hard. Easy. I'm so tired of being so. <laughs>
<laughs> yeah, is that right? Let's see how this little light does this. This angle, though. Yeah, it's, it's pretty of, good. It's kind of intense. I've been doing the wide angle, so it makes you look a little different, but. It makes me look like kind of wide. Signing off. She's gonna be in more to come. <laughs> is that right? What are we gonna do, babe? Um, we're gonna party. We're gonna party hardy. We're gonna party. Party hardy. All right, guys. Let's see. Hopefully, she's in the next vlog a little bit more. Maybe. I guess we'll find out. We'll see. Okay. Peace.